Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cora. Um, the wind is howling outside, so I hope that's not too annoying in this video. But anyways, let's just disregard that. Hopefully the audio is fine. But welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I film my videos and how I edit them using iMovie. When I first started my channel several months back, I had no idea how to edit videos at all. Like, I had no clue what I was doing. So I looked up so many tutorials before I even started editing my first video. So I thought it'd be so convenient if there was a video where you could see all the basics of editing on iMovie and all the tips and tricks that people don't know about iMovie just in one place which is this video obviously so let's just get into it okay the first step of making a video is the planning I don't plan out each individual video that I make usually what happens for me randomly a video idea comes to me or I like get inspired by seeing other people's videos I often forget it if I don't write it down so what I do is I write my video ideas in my notes every single time I get one even if I don't end up doing it always write it down because it could be your best video idea yet and then if you forget it then you can never make it you could use like a planner or a journal or a diary to write down your video ideas but I just use my notes on my phone because I've never been like a big planner person also if I put it in my phone on my notes I always have my phone on me so say I'm like working out in the gym and I think of an idea boom I can write it in my phone or say I'm shopping and then I have an idea boom I can just write it down in my phone instead of having to go back and write it in like a journal or whatever don't forget to write down your video ideas that is the number one regret of mine when I forget what video idea I had also when you're planning out your video don't just think of a video idea and then just start filming it two seconds later I mean like I can get eager to about filming my videos but the thing is if you just think of a video idea and then boom you start filming it there's probably not gonna be a process you have of what you want to talk about or like what you're gonna do in the video sometimes that can work for people but for me at least that doesn't really work even for this video I wrote down in my notes I wrote the title of the video at the top and then I wrote all the bullet points that I want to talk about in this video you definitely want to plan out your videos <laughs> The second process of making a video is the filming part. What I film all my videos on is literally just my iPhone 7 Plus. Not even the newest iPhone, it's just the iPhone 7 Plus. So many people have asked me, what do you film your videos on? Honestly, I don't think the quality is that bad. Sometimes it's inconvenient, like I can't go on my phone right now and look at everything I wrote down, so I have my laptop right here with me. Sometimes I have to borrow like my parents' phone or like my roommates to film a video because part of the video is me going on my phone but overall I'd say if you're just starting out as a youtuber don't buy a camera because you don't know if this is something that's gonna last something that's gonna be successful so that's why I'm just waiting I don't know if I want to buy a camera yet I'm just fine using my iPhone for right now if you do want to look into getting a camera I definitely recommend the Canon G7X that is a vlog kind of style camera but you can also use it for sit down videos I know that is the camera I want to get eventually it's a little pricey that's definitely the camera I would recommend to you guys if I was gonna get a camera to start out other than that if you want to only do sit down videos Video, I would recommend like a Canon DSL. I would definitely recommend starting on your iPhone though. It works fine for me. To go along with filming, you definitely don't need like a tripod or anything like that, but it does come in handy a lot. I'm not using mine right now because it actually broke. I got it on Amazon and it's broken now, but I found it so helpful when mine was still working. I'm definitely gonna order another one again. Everyone always asks me how I'm like filming in my car, like what I'm setting my camera up on. I got this from Amazon. It was pretty cheap and it's worked really well for me. So I would get that if you want to vlog in your car. The regular tripod that I got from Amazon for a normal setup like I'm doing right now is this one right here. Um, it was pretty cheap, but this thing actually broke off of it. I don't know it had really good reviews it wasn't expensive it was like $20 but that's not like super cheap so I'm kind of annoyed I think I was just too rough with it I'm gonna go get another one but right now I'm filming setting my camera up on like books and stuff and it's working just fine but this would be a lot easier so I should definitely get a new one but I'll link both the car tripod and this down below so the next part is importing your footage. So if you're filming on your phone and then you're editing on a laptop like I do, all you have to do to get the footage into iMovie is airdrop all the footage to your computer from your phone and then import it into iMovie just by dragging it once it airdrops. You do not want to send the videos over text because one, that takes so, so, so long. And two, it distorts the quality. So definitely use airdrop. If you're using a camera, like I mentioned before, I don't use that, but all you have to do is insert the chip into your computer. You probably have to have an adapter for the new computers like I have, but that should be pretty self explanatory as well. Also, it is a lot easier to edit on a laptop if you have one. Like I said, I'm only showing you guys how to edit with iMovie, so you need to have an Apple product. So you could use iMovie on your phone. I know that's how a lot of YouTubers started. They started editing on their phone when they were super young. I tried to do that a long time ago and I wanted to start a YouTube channel like a long time ago when I didn't have a laptop. Like I've wanted to start a channel for like a long time. So I actually tried editing a video on iMovie on my phone and that 
that bitch is hard. That is very hard to do. There's not as many options, so I would definitely recommend a laptop if you can afford one or if you have one, but it is possible to do it on your phone. If it's not in the budget, you can definitely figure it out. Darling, you Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the mechanics of editing. Like I said, when I started out, I had no idea how to edit a video. And I would find these little tips super helpful if I was first starting out. So I'm gonna share them with you guys. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys how to do is split a clip. Say you're editing a video and you stutter. I'm gonna show you guys how to edit. I'm gonna show you guys that and you wanna cut that out to say, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit. All you have to do, click right after the part that you wanna cut out. Tap using two fingers and then you hit split and then that will split the clip and then you go back to the part right before you stutter, you split it again, delete that split and then it should say smoothly without any stutter. This is how I'm gonna show you guys how to edit. So that's really easy. That's just how you cut out any information that you don't want in your video. Okay, the second thing you guys should know is Ken Burns. Ken Burns is just the zooming in effect or the zooming out effect. I use this a lot. I feel like it just adds more to the video rather than just me sitting here splitting every clip and then uploading it it's more interesting to watch actions on the screen rather than just me talking so all you have to do is go to the top right corner hit the cropping button and then you hit Ken Burns just the one on the right and then you can drag the start and the end to wherever you want it so you could start closer up and then have it zoom out or start it from how it is and then have it zoom in another tip that I just learned actually I've always wanted to know how to do and I didn't know is to zoom in on the clip and then have it hold at one point so like have me talking zooming in zooming in zooming in right now that hold hold while I'm talking right now I would just find this super helpful so I'm gonna tell you guys how to do it all you have to do is leave the clip that you want to zoom in all the way on your face even the part that you want to hold on your face leave that as one clip do the Ken Burns all the way to where you're gonna want it to where it's holding on your face then split that clip that already has the Ken Burns effect on it to where you want it to pause on your face and then click on the clip again hit that reverse button that says swap and then hit crop to fill that'll allow it to zoom in and then hold on your face while you're talking I really like this effect for some reason when people put it in their videos and I didn't know how to do it so you guys should know how to do it and then an even easier effect that you can use is just cropping to make it not zoom in but just to make it closer like a cut kind of so you're gonna want to split the clip where you want to be zoomed in and split the clip again where you want to be zoomed back out to a normal setting click that clip in the middle and click the cropping effect again and then hit crop to fill and then zoom in however far you want to then it'll have a little cut and then a cut back instead of zooming in another thing you want to keep in mind is that when you import a photo into your video it's automatically gonna set it to a Ken Burns so you're gonna want to hit the crop button again and hit fit so that it isn't like zoomed in but you can also adjust this in the settings so all you have to do to adjust the settings to make the picture that you are importing a regular fit is go to iMovie at the top left and hit preferences where it says photo placement I hit crop to fill just so that every photo that I put in there is not going to be zooming in with Ken Burns because I don't like that and it's just annoying to have to adjust every single time it's just a lot faster when you're editing okay the next thing I want to cover in editing is green screen effects <laughs> screen effects from YouTube. Say you want the glitch stars effect. All you have to do is go on YouTube, search glitch stars green screen effect. And you go into the one that you like. This is the one that I use. Copy the search bar. And you open a new tab, search YouTube to MP4. And you copy and paste that link into the YouTube to MP4. And then it converts it for you. It saves it to your download. And then you import that download into your iMovie. And then you lay it over the clip you want the glitch stars to be over. Say I want the glitch stars to be over this clip right here. I'm just going to import it right here. Click on the glitch stars and then go to video overlay settings you might have not seen this when we were editing the other clips that is because it doesn't give you this option unless you overlay two videos click green screen blue screen and that will make the green part go away and it'll just leave the glitch stars rolling on your video and this goes for any green screen a lot of ones I use are the recording green screen effect the film grain I've also used like the old film screen effect I found that's really helpful again they add a lot to your video they look like you know how to edit when it's really just you copy and pasting something into your video so another concept we're going to cover is putting words on the screen. There's actually no setting in iMovie where you can put words on the screen, which is so, 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 so stupid. You can only add words on the screen if you're using one of the little title bars, and I don't like those because those like have weird transitions. I don't really like the way they look. This also has to do with green screen effect. So what you're going to need for this is the app Fonto, and this app is completely free. I use it all the time. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the app Fonto, and then you're going to click the little camera button at the bottom. 
then hit plain image. And you're gonna click the top left hand corner of that black image. And then you're immediately gonna wanna change the size of the image to 1280 by 720. This is the size of a YouTube video. So this is the size that's gonna fit your screen. And then you're gonna wanna choose the color green. You could also use like a blue. I just like to use the color green because it's like green screen. And you hit the top right hand corner, hit use. This is where you type whatever you wanna say. Say you wanna put on the screen editing. Then you type out editing. I usually use Arial bold or Arial bold italic. And then I'm gonna hit style. I'm gonna go over to the top and then turn off the alpha all the way and turn down the blur all the way. That's the way I like it to look. I also sometimes add in the stroke, which is like kind of the border and I make it black, just like a really small width. And then I adjust the size I want it to be and then I place it wherever I want it on the video. And then I airdrop that to my laptop. I import it into the iMovie and then I just overlay it over a clip and then hit green screen, blue screen effect. I know it kind of sounds like a lot of steps, but it's really easy once you get the hang of it. Okay, so when you're making a video, it is a lot less awkward if you have music in the video. You definitely don't need music in the video. I probably don't need music in this video, but I'm still gonna put it as like a background sound because I feel like it makes the video less awkward than like a dead silence of you talking and maybe hearing like your fan in the background or the wind howling in the background. I used to not do this, but I realized with time that it adds more to your video. But the problem is you can't just put any song you like in the background of your video because it's gonna get copyrighted. No matter if the volume is literally on one, it's gonna get copyrighted. So you have to find copyright free music. This was hard for me first starting out. I had no idea how to find copyright free music. I was so confused. Honestly, all I do is I search copyright free music on YouTube and a lot of times it'll give you a ton of songs that you can choose from, but a lot of times these songs are creepy. So what you can also do that is a better option, I search aesthetic copyright free music, which is like so cringy but it works. Yeah, it comes up with a ton of different options. Artists that I use are like DJ Quad, F. Kale, I don't know if that's how you say his name, Surfaces Music. Those are all copyright free music. Another thing you can do is when you're watching other people's videos and I like the music, I actually go like, hey Siri, what song is this? And then it will tell me what song it is and I'll look it up and make sure it's copyright free and then I'll use it in my videos. So make sure it's copyright free. And when you upload your video on YouTube, it'll tell you if it got copyright claimed. Just make sure that you're uploading your videos on private first so that if it gets copyright claimed, you can delete delete the video and then re-edit it with different music. This can be annoying when it gets copyrighted, but it's worth it to change it. Don't get a copyright strike for no reason. Do it right the first time. So once you have the song that you want, copy and paste that link and then go into another tab and search YouTube to MP3, copy and paste that, then hit download, then it will enter your downloads and then it'll just be in your audio library and then you can just drag the music wherever you want in the video. Okay, the last part of this video is the thumbnails. <laughs> In order to make a YouTube video, you don't need a thumbnail, but it just looks so much better if you have a thumbnail. If I'm being honest, I'm not gonna click on a video if the thumbnail's bad. So the app I use to make thumbnails is called Fonto. This is the same one I use for the green screen effect. What I do is I usually pose for a thumbnail. Not that one. I would never do that as a thumbnail. I edit all my thumbnails the same way I edit my pictures. I have a video of how I edit my pictures on my channel, so I'm not going to explain that. But I use Lightroom and I use a preset. I edit it like I normally do. And then I import it into Fonto, hit the camera, and then hit plain image again. Go to the top left and hit that black little plain image right there. And then adjust the size again to 1280 by 720. You're not going to pick a color. You're just going to go to the top right and hit use. Then you're going to want to go to the bottom left, the three little bars, then hit add image. Add that image. Make the size big enough to fit over that box. Then you can put words on it just like how I put words on the screen when I was showing you guys how to do the green screen thing. I'm just gonna use this font that I always use, the Arial Bold Italic, and then do the same styles that I had before with sometimes the outline border and then turning down the blur and turning up the alpha all the way. And then sometimes I curve the font. You can just swipe over on the options and hit curve and curve it either which way you want. You can also tilt it, do anything you want to it, and then just save that image and you're all good. And then you have a thumbnail. Okay, so that is pretty much all I have for this video. I just thought this would be really helpful. As I said before, I didn't know how to do any of this stuff when I started my channel, and I thought this video would be really helpful for someone who is looking to start a channel or for someone who is just interested in learning how to edit videos for fun. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. They will be in the description box down below. If you guys have any other questions, definitely comment them down below or message me on Instagram or on Twitter, whatever social media you want. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh.